seven miles five days a week, which is a total of 32 miles. And most of the time we ride more on the weekends. Uh -huh. Kids are um, enthusiastic about it. They don't. It's not like why well, do we have to ride a bike? You know, like I'm not getting a stinking car. I'm gonna take the bike. <laughs> Sold our car actually about three weeks ago. For many many years, it was you know primarily car with some bike, and now we're basically all bike with a little bit of car. Load up in book bags and the appropriate weather gear on, and then put on our helmets and head out the door and it's um, almost three miles from here, from our house to school. Sometimes we'll kind of pick up friends along the way, chat and you know talk about stuff on the way to school like anybody else. We just happen to be on bikes instead of in a car. <laughs> in the morning when it's eight degrees, it's like, well, maybe it would just be really a lot easier to get in the car and go this morning. But, you know, as Gina says, you get in the car, the car's freezing, and by the time it's warmed up, you're at school, and you come home and drop it off. On the bikes, it's 15 minutes, or maybe less, and you're at school. And, you know, the kids aren't going to freeze to death in 15 minutes. They're not going to melt if it's raining in 15 minutes. So with riding to school, it's, like, close to a 1,000. You're just riding every day back and forth. And then, like, you know, riding to friends' houses, and we ride to go camping, and we've ridden to Grandma's house in Boonville. You know, you leave your house with a controlled environment, you walk like 10 feet to your car in a controlled environment, you park it, then you walk a little time, and then you're just going like from these, you know, artificially controlled environments, um, and then like you're outside and you notice the season. The kids who bike here are very alive, are very plugged in, are very aware of their environment, which is, of course, uh, a steady topic in all grades. So I think the kids arrive here with their brains firing. I think it, I think it came out really well. Mm -hmm. I really like it. So, so did you want to say anything about it? No. I, no. Think, well, I was thinking about putting it like out in the parking lot as a roundabout thing. Apparently people think I'm kind of nutty. <laughs> but people here like know that this is, it's like, oh, it's the Overshiners, and that's what they do. And like, you know, we got the second bike rack out here this year. It's like, look, you know, we've got all these kids riding to school this year. Instead of uh, um, the process of getting there, if you don't look at it as, um, as we have to do this to get to here to do what we want to do, it's like, well, let's do what we want to do while we're getting there. So, but we have three of the cargo bikes now. It's actually built on, and it's welded together so it can hold on um, 500 pounds. It weighs 60 pounds, and I only weigh High 70s, low 80s. I beat you. People realize, you know, it's it's nice, it's fun, um, it's a nice way to you know, like chat with your kids. They get a sense of you know accomplishment and empowerment. I think with my kids, I I like um, the fact that they're growing up. And, um, and, and their first response to new experiences is, well, I couldn't do that. That's too hard. Or, you know, it's like, well, maybe I can. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll have to push the bike up the hill today. But maybe in a week I'll be able to make it up the hill on the bike. You know, that, that life is just uh, keep trying and keep doing. And, and you can do things that <laughs> nobody thought you could. Or people think you're crazy for trying. But, um,